Hello everybody, welcome to our second episode of ASAP Physics. In today's lesson, we will be covering the concepts of thermodynamics. Well, what is thermodynamics? Well, thermo means heat and dynamics means change. If we put this together, we get that thermodynamics is the study of heat and its properties. Now let's talk about another important concept in thermodynamics. This is thermal energy, also known as internal energy. Well, thermal energy is basically the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. As we have mentioned before, kinetic energy is the movement of molecules in a microscopic level in objects. Potential energy, on the other hand, is basically the spacing and alignment of molecules in an object. How can we increase the thermal energy? We can increase the thermal energy by increasing the temperature in the system. This therefore increases the amount of kinetic energy, therefore bringing a rise to thermal energy. Now let's talk about temperature, as it is a really important component in this unit. What is temperature? Well, temperature is basically the measure of average kinetic energy in an object. Well, what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is basically the movement of particles in an object. So, as the kinetic energy increases, then the movement of molecules, which are in microscopic level, also increases in an object. This therefore leads to an increased temperature. The Kelvin scale is one of the most important scales used in thermodynamics, so it is really important to understand how the Kelvin scale works. So in the Kelvin scale, if you want to find Kelvin, you just add 273 degrees from the Celsius temperature. If you want to find Celsius from Kelvin, you just subtract 273. Another important concept in, Kel in the Kelvin scale is the absolute zero value. The absolute zero value is zero K, and this is the lowest a temperature can ever get. So the Kelvin scale, some basic uh, reminders is that the Kelvin scale starts from zero, and that the Kelvin scale's absolute zero value is zero K. An important concept in thermodynamics is that thermal energy always flows from hot objects to cold objects. This happens until both objects reach the same temperature. At this point, we say that the objects are in thermal equilibrium. In thermal equilibrium, we say that the temperatures are the same in both objects and that there's no net transfer of energy. The zeroth law of therm thermodynamics states that no matter what material these two objects are, hot objects will always give off thermal energy to colder objects until they reach thermal equilibrium. In addition, let's move on to heat. Heat has been misinterpreted in today's meanings. For example, we use heat to say is like heat the microwave or etc. But what is heat in physics? In physics, heat is basically the thermal energy that is being transferred from the hot object to the cold object when achieving thermal equilibrium. So as you can see in this diagram here, the hot object is giving a lot of thermal energy to the cold object. The, tra the transfer of energy from the hot object to the cold object is heat. When you take away heat from an object, you're basically making the object cooler because you're taking away thermal energy. When you add heat to an object, you're basically adding more thermal energy, basically increasing the object's temperature. Mm -hmm.